Hi, with this episode of the beginner's guide, I'll start explaining the preferences in GIMP 2.8. You can access them by going to the edit menu and select preferences. And uh, before I start explaining in detail, I want to give you some tips. First thing is, if you're a complete beginner, do not change anything here. They're pretty well set by default. After gaining some experience, you can come back here and customize them according to your needs. Another important thing that I want to share with you is that some of the options here, for example, under the image windows appearance, you can see we have show menu bar, show rulers and other options that are also available under the view menu. But the difference between the view menu and preferences is that if you make a change from the view menu, this change will last only until you close GIMP. And if you later start GIMP again, you'll see that these options will return to their original state. But if you do make a change from the Edit Preferences menu, these change will last. And so if, for example, if I turn off my Show Scroll Bars option, click OK, and then restart GIMP, every time I start it, I will not see my scroll bars here. Now let's get started with the environment and discuss these options here. The first one is minimal number of undo levels. I'm guessing that you already know that with Control Z you can undo previous operations. But even though this is set to just 5, you can have more undo levels. For example, 10, 15, it all depends from this maximum undo memory. So the more memory you have, the more undo levels will be kept until this memory is reached. Therefore, if you have a faster computer with more memory, you should set this number higher so you can have more undo levels. And when you make a mistake, you can just hit Control Z until you get to the point where you made that mistake. Now let's talk about the next option. Sometimes when you're working on a very big project, you may be using a lot of your RAM memory. And if you exceed this number here, GIMP will start swap tiles to disk and this will make GIMP a lot slower but it's the only way you can uh, continue working if you exceed your RAM memory but you do have a big project uh, that you're working on so if you have a lot of RAM you can set this number higher again and now maximum new image size if you try to create an image that it's larger than the specified number here GIMP will warn you you can still create it but you will just get a warning that you, what you're creating will be larger than this maximum new image size. So this is again something that you can set depending on your preferences. Next option, number of processors to use. I have just one. If you have two, maybe you can change the number to that and the GIMP will be a lot faster. When you open an image, by default, GIMP creates a thumbnail. And uh, depending on your system, for example, for Windows, it saves it in Documents and Settings. Uh, the folder looks like .thumbnails, and there you can find all the thumbnails that are saved if for some reason you want to delete them. But don't worry, they don't take a lot of uh, memory. You can have thousands of thumbnails and uh, the folder won't be taking much space. But if you don't want GIMP to create thumbnails, you can uh, change it from here. No thumbnails. Now the next option, maximum file size for thumbnailing. You can change this number if you want to, but the default works pretty well. This concerns previewing, it's not so important, it doesn't actually affect your image or your project in any way. Next option is saving images, confirm closing of unsaved images. And here, this is extremely important, especially for beginners, not to change this option. Because if you forget to, save your image from the file menu, you can lose sometimes hours of work and also sometimes something that you will never be able to recreate again. So it's very important, this needs to stay checked. Even if you're not a beginner, it's better to have this on. Now what exactly this does? If you open an image, make some changes to the image and try to close it or close GIMP, GIMP will ask you if you want to save the changes that you've made and if you have this unchecked here GIMP will not ask you and you lose everything you've done. So sometimes it's annoying to get asked all the time when you don't want to save the changes but it's better to 
do a few clicks more than lose hours of work. Now the next thing, keep records of your used uh, files in the recent documents list and this concerns the file open recent history here, document history. You can also click here to open the dialog. And uh, if for some reason you don't want this uh, record to be kept, you can turn this option off. And you see here I have no history because I use this option to clear the entire document history is something else you can do. So that's it for this video and I hope that it was useful. If it was, subscribe, like it, leave a comment, visit my channel and I'm going to continue with more preferences in the next tutorial. That's it for now. Bye.